Well, from messaging apps keeping us working at home to fitness platforms keeping us working out at home, it is all part of this digital experience that we're all trying to seek balance in as we are constantly indoors. What's up, guys? It's Kenta here with Active, and welcome to your workout. Active is an audio only training app which big companies like Amazon have invested in. You can't see the trainer. But you can hear the trainer. Ken Tasecki is one of the most popular trainers on the app, and he's here to tell us how Active and trainers like him have been adapting to the crisis. Well, Kenta, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you so much for having me, Samuel. I appreciate it. So, when people hear an audio-only workout app, of course, the first thing that they say to me, like they say to you, is, "How can you do a workout if you can't see somebody, see the trainer?" But why would audio actually be beneficial instead of video for people working out at home, for instance? I, I think people are used to doing one way, right? Which has been video for the past 20, 30, 40 years. Um, but if you look at different ways to change things up, audio is becoming one of the number one ways to receive all types of media. So why not in fitness, right? It's just kind of crossing over. It takes less storage space. It's a totally different experience. You know, you're not fixed to a screen. So you can actually just focus on whatever it is that you're doing and just listen to your trainer in your ear. So I'm very curious how companies like Active have been adapting to this new situation. We're really fortunate to have the digital fitness era really thriving at the moment. Active has been amazing with the, being able to send equipment to each of their trainers. I actually have one with me right now if you want me to pull it yeah. on. Let's see yeah. it. <laughs> so, this is uh, kind of like a little basic setup of just a basic uh, recording you know, booth that you would have at home. And I guess that's just an investment that companies have to make, sending out that big equipment, maybe expensive equipment to keep people working. Well, Kenta, I'll just give you a moment to step back because I want to see some of your most recommended exercises for at home. But I'm curious, what are some of the top at home exercises that you recommend while people are stuck at home? Absolutely. So that's the best part about fitness is you can actually do so much with just your body weight. So you'd stand with your feet hip distance apart. We would squat all the way down and jump straight up. Jumping up and down is just a great way to really work your legs. I'm going to do it from the side so you can see. You want to be pushing your hips straight back and then jumping up nice and high at the top. So even just doing a few reps of these can be a great way to keep you active and keep your body moving. Yeah, um, I feel my heart rate just after a few of those. I feel it already. Second exercise, as you mentioned, would be the basic push-up. Um, most people try to do them on their toes first, but I always recommend first starting on your knees. So make sure you bring your hands back so that your hands line up with your chest as you press. And then if you can do them perfectly here, raise up to those toes, and we would do the push-ups from there. <laughs> so it's important that we open that back up just to really help with your posture and movement. Well, Kenta Seiki, thank you for keeping us moving during the lockdown. We will be listening to you on Active and watching you on social media. Thank you so much for having me.